Hi, so today we're going to be going over the iOS 11 setup process for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So when you first update to iOS 11, you'll be greeted with this screen that says hello in a variety of languages, as well as press home button or swipe up to unlock if you have the iPhone 10. You can also see this info button, and this will tell you some information about your device, like the serial number, or if you have an iPhone, like the IMEI, things like that. You can also see the regulatory information there. So pressing the home button, you can see you can select your language. And then it will prompt you to select your country, all these ones. Um, and wherever you purchased the device, whatever country that was in, that one should be at the top, as well as the language. And then this is a new feature in iOS 11, which is quick start. So if you have an iPhone or iPad or iPod touch running iOS 11, you can bring it nearby to your new device to sign in automatically, or you can set it manually. So we're just gonna go with that for now. It's pretty self-explanatory what it does. Um, next, you'll be asked to choose your Wi-Fi network, so you can choose it, and then type in your password. So once you type in your password, you can click join, and it will be connecting to that network, and once it's connected, you can hit next. You'll say it'll take a few minutes to set up or activate your device. It shouldn't take a few minutes, though, really, it just takes a couple seconds. And then this is new in iOS 11.3, which is data and privacy. So you can see this icon with two people shaking hands will appear when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. So we're going to hit continue or you can hit learn more here. And you have all of these different sections that talk about the privacy features that they offer. So we're going to click continue. Next, it'll ask you to create a passcode. So by default, you can create a four digit passcode. That is, if your device does not have Touch ID or Face ID, if it does, it probably will be six digits, I think. Um, and then, of course, if you do have those, it will ask you to set up Touch ID or Face ID first before this. So um, you can go to Passcode Options and change this. So you can do a custom alphanumeric code. So you can have a number passcode with as many um, numbers as you want between four, and there's probably a limit, but I don't know what that is. Um, oh, that's alphanumeric, so that would be letters, so probably between four and however many letters you want, and then custom numeric, that would be between four and infinite, I mean not infinite, but there's got to be a limit. Numbers, and then six digit, of course, I just talked about, or you can have no passcode at all, so I'm just going to do that for now. And now, this is where you're going to sync your apps and data, so you can restore from an iCloud or iTunes backup, or just set up as new. And then we have move data from Android added in iOS 9 for the iPhone 5 and later and the iPod Touch 6 generation and later and iPad Air and Mini 2 and Pro all this and later. So um, that's a cool new feature. We're going to click set up as new for now. And then you can sign into your Apple ID. So you're going to enter your email address first. So you can see also we have privacy information and here if you don't have an Apple ID then you can either create one or you can set it up later in settings if you want. Honestly you don't, I mean you actually don't need to have an Apple ID but it'll be pretty limited if you don't use one. You won't be able to download any apps or sync any of your data so um, I recommend doing that and if you forgot your password or Apple ID you can fix that there. So we're going to click next and then it will ask for your password. All right, so now we're going to hit next. And if you have two-factor authentication enabled on your Apple ID, then you'll need to get a device with iOS 10 or macOS Sierra or later and it will pop up with a code on that device and you can enter it here. So let me do that real quick. All right, so you type in your code and it will automatically sign you in. So now it will take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Um, again, it shouldn't take a few minutes. 
should just take a couple seconds like that and then agree to the terms and conditions. I kind of skipped over that, but um, obviously just terms and conditions to read if you want and then agree to those. And now it's going to take a few more seconds to sign in your Apple ID. This one will take a little longer. And then once it's done with that, this is another new feature in iOS 11, which is Express Settings. So you can read about this. Um, you can customize settings if you want for Siri, location services, and analytics. So these all used to be like separate things like this, um, but they've just grouped it into this one. So if you would like to use Siri, Location Services, and Analytics, you can click Continue, but if you want to only use certain ones, then you can click Customize, and you can enable Location Services, Siri, or you can set this up later in Settings, and Analytics. And there's two Analytics, iPod Analytics, or iPhone, iPad, and App Analytics. Uh, you can choose to share those with developers. So finally, we are finished, and you'll get a welcome to iDevice screen, and you can click Get Started, and you'll be taken right to the home screen. So that is your iOS 11 setup process on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Thanks for watching.